bowling fans, I'm Jason Thomas, the bowling guy, and this is the PBA 39x60 pregame show. We're here again at historic Thunder Bowl Lanes in Allen Park, Michigan, just prior to the start of the PBA League Round 4 and the Don Carter Classic Finals. After a one week break for the exciting USBC Masters, we're back again in PBA League competition with the teams vying for one of the four spots in the Elias Cup Finals. We'll also have the finals of the Don Carter Classic featuring Wes Malott and Jason Sterner. Let's head down to the lanes now to Ashley Galante, who's with Jason Sterner's girlfriend in the crowd. Thanks, Jason. I'm here with Andrea, who is Jason Sterner's girlfriend. It has been a long week. Yes, it is very tiring. We've been, we got up at 6 this morning, we're here at 8, and we've been here all day. And he probably won't bowl until like 11 or 12, they're saying. How has he been handling the schedule? He's actually better than me. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, pumped. he's pumped. He's really excited about it, so he's ready to bowl. Now, does he have any aches or pains or from bowling all the games that he did this week? His um, pointer finger is really sore. Um, it's, got a, it's got split down the middle, so I've been trying to doctor it up for him. And he says it's feeling a lot better. I think he's just so excited and he's so ready to, to bowl. He's not even thinking about it anymore. So. Well, thank you so much. Back to you, Jason. Thanks, Ashley. With just two weeks left in the PBA League competition, Billie Jean King's New York City WTT Kingpins holds on to the lead over Jerome Bettis' Motown Muscle, with Jesse Williams' Brooklyn Styles trailing behind in third. The battle for the number four spot is very close, with four teams still with a legitimate chance to earn that final spot in the Elias Cup Finals. While the players are still warming up, let's head down to the lanes to Mike Flanagan, who's got a special treat for us at home. Hey PBA fans, Mike Flanagan here at the PBA League, and I'm going to actually attempt to steal one of the spare balls because I like them so much. It's an Adam Splitter's ball. I've been eyeing it up. It's right down here. I got it. Oh, hey, look who's here. Look who's here, right here. This is Robin Orlikowski from On the Ball Bowling. Hi. How you doing? Great. How are you doing? Good. And the reason why I stopped here is I'm stealing this ball right now. No. It's an Adam Splitter spare ball. And I know you guys are responsible for making these bowling balls. What a great job you guys did. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, On the Ball Bowling is the creator of these custom bowling balls for all the teams. They're actually available on ontheballbowling.com for $129.99 each. Yeah, that Support your, your favorite team. That's really cool. Yeah, who are you rooting for here today? All of them? Or is there a favor that you might have? I've got some favorite players for sure. So I'm rooting for whoever runs it and uh, deviates those players. Thanks, Mike. Well, hopefully that ball will find its way back to its rightful owner before showtime. As we mentioned at the top of the show, this week also features the Don Carter Classic Finals, with Wes Malott as the number one seed and Jason Sterner taking him on for the championship. Big Wes, who just finished second in last week's USBC Masters, is looking for his eighth career title after dominating the qualifying portion of this event, where he averaged a blistering 255.94 to easily outdistance the rest of the field. Sterner is making his second career TV appearance after breaking through in this season's PBA World Series of Bowling. The likable right-hander from Georgia also averaged over 250 for the 17 qualifying games in the event and is looking for his first career PBA Tour win. Walter Ray Williams Jr. just missed out on the telecast, finishing third, and was joined by Amleto Monocelli, John Zerbinski, Stuart Williams, Scott Norton, and Rhino Page in the top eight. All of the action was covered live on Extra Frame. And if you happen to miss any of it, all the rounds are currently available for on-demand viewing for our subscribers. Our next live event will happen this weekend in Pensacola, Florida with PBA South Regional Action. So for just $7.99 a month or $64.99 a year, you can watch that and all of the upcoming tournaments live on Extra Frame. We also announced last week the launch of mobile applications, so you can watch Extra Frame on your cell phone or your iPad. So be sure to tune into that and check out how you can watch Extra Frame anywhere you go. Now it's time to go back down to the lanes to Ashley Galante, who's with Roto Grips marketing manager and former tour rep, Chris Schlemmer. 
Thank you, Jason. I'm here with Chris Schlemmer, who is the marketing manager of RotoGrip. So what do you see out here? Um, I see a lots of bowlers and a lot of bowling balls. Um, no, really, it's one of those deals right now. We're just seeing a lot of friction. The, the guys are moving with each shot. Um, the lanes are breaking out really quick. Um, and just one of those things that you get this many guys, you get so many shots fired in really quick. Guys use them a little bit more surface. Um, so guys are actually grabbing balls that they hadn't used um, in shows before. Um, just to try and say to have the transition because the balls are starting to really read the mid lane really strong. And you already have an advantage knowing how these lanes have been playing over the course of the past couple of years. We yeah, I mean, we've been out here, obviously, I've been out here a lot um, these last two days with all the different shows, um, and it really, it's one of those things of knowing the differences between the left lane, right lane, and kind of giving our guys to making sure they're staying ahead of the certain moves on what lane does what, um, and imagine a, the, the other deal of getting the right ball and knowing which ball to go to in case one does something different that they're not expecting. Um, so it's really, uh, yeah, it's been obviously beneficial of, of knowing that, so. What ball would you say is working the best right now? Um, I would have to say, I mean, in our in our two, two lines between Swarm and Rotogrip, um, obviously the IQ2 or Pearl, the gold ball has been really good on a lot of conditions. Um, you know, we actually had quite a few, uh, like the, the live show today, we had quite a few Defiant Souls with a longer pattern. Um, but really the gold ball has really kind of made an appearance on like every telecast um, because there's so much friction in the lane. That ball reads the mid lane really good and it just kind of, it doesn't overreact, it just makes a nice continuous motion. So I think by far that's been the other one. Um, actually, another ball, Mar uh, Martin just threw there, a Marvel Pearl. That's another one that quite a few guys use, have been using these team deals. Um, so really, it's kind of our, our medium to not super strong balls, not super weak balls, kind of the medium balls have really been matching up. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Back to you, Jason. Well, that's going to do it for this week's PBA 39 by 60 pregame show. Be sure to tune in this Sunday, March 3rd at 3 p.m. Eastern Time to watch the finals of the PBA League Round 4 and the Don Carter Classic. I'm Jason Thomas, the bowling guy for Extra Frame. Be sure to follow the PBA on Facebook and Twitter and enjoy this Sunday's show.